All right, let's look at a couple of fuzz pedals. Both funky, custom-made, kind of one-of-a-kind fuzz pedals. I'm playing a 2015 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe through a Keeley 30 MS. That's why I'm getting a little bit of slapback and a little bit of detuning. I've got it detuned about oh, 15, 15 cents, maybe. And then a slapback of about, looks like 40 milliseconds, roughly. This one is built by Joe Anastasio, Lone Wolf Audio. It's a clone of a buzz around fuzz from the 60s. It's got some additional stuff that I wanted on it. Um, it's got a rotary switch that controls the input depth. Um, it's got 1960s uh, Texas Instrument transistors that are out of production and have been out of production for years. Um, and then this one is my Devi Ever Sodomizer. It, it was a kit that I bought and it was like the shittiest kit ever. Of course, that's going to be the first pedal that I build, is this shitty kit that doesn't have what I need in it. So there was stuff like missing from the kit. There was stuff in the kit that didn't need to be in the kit. And at the time, I didn't know anything about building. Now I only know a little bit, but at the time I knew nothing. And I just started swapping stuff in and out. When I got it put together, anyway, it didn't it didn't work. I soldered it immaculately. Everything is just immaculate. I should open it up and take pictures. It looks like a damn thing made by a computer robot or something. And it still didn't work. So I got pissed, and I had nothing left to lose. So I just started swapping shit in and out. And it finally works. But let's hit this one first. The funny thing is... Fuzz only does anything between about 20% and 80%. If I go all the way down or all the way up, it just kills it. Let's hear that one first. fuzz, but it does have a nice taper to it. If I flip the switch, let's go that sucker first, check this out. Insanity. I'm going to turn the uh, reverb off just so I can kill that more quickly. If I go past about the 8 o'clock position, it gets all nutty. 
And nothing comes through when I strum like that. Damn thing cut me off. All right, let's look at this thing that Joe made. The buzz around fuzz. Let's turn that sucker on. Sucker's got sustain. This is, uh, I'll go through the knobs real quick since they're not labeled. This is, and they're kind of confusing, and they're kind of those kind of knobs that like work uh, together. In other words, with the volume up, now the sustain does something different. With the sustain down, now the volume does something different. So you're constantly flicking all the switches. As I said before, this is a rotary switch. It's an input depth. It's thinner this way and thicker this way, so I just leave it there. This is the balance, but it acts kind of like a volume. I just leave it up. This one is what is called the volume. They almost all kind of do volume, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> kind of like having a gain and a volume on an amp. You can kind of interchangeably alter the loudness of the amp. This one is officially labeled volume. This one is timbre. It's a little thinner this way, and a little thicker this way. And this is sustain. I just have it at the halfway point. My funky vintage army knobs. So let me kind of take it to some of the extremes. I have it kind of set up pretty thick right there. Let's hear that again. Rotary back. And if I bring that timbre back. See, the volume went down a lot, so you got to bring the volume up. And that's getting really thin. So this guy is called balance, but it's like a volume. Check this out. It's very much like a volume. I'm not sure what it's balancing. It's probably bal balancing the loudness, huh? Um, sustain just does sustain. So pretty much what I've done there is thicken the thin of the of the pedal. If we take, let's get it back to the thicker sound. If I take the sustain all the way up. It gets really...
what I was saying, almost every volume, or every knob acts like a volume, even sustained, you bring it all the way down, and there's nothing coming out of it anymore. All of these knobs will do that just about, to some degree. So if I bring the sustain down to where it activates, take the reverb off and the Keeley off, and now you'll see it's really gated. Anyway, so it does a lot of stuff. So now this would be really gated and really thin. My phone's going to cut me off again. I pretty much like it, you know, thick, sustain up about halfway. Yeah. 